Wyatt Cundy from New Braunfels Utilities, and today we're going to show you how to make your very own rain barrel. The supplies you use can be adjusted to your preference. 3 inch hole cutter, power drill, box cutter, 15 16 inch paddle bit, 100% silicone, latex seal tape, 3 quarter inch canted brass hose bib, two 3 quarter inch PVC threaded couplings, 3 quarter inch PVC threaded close riser, 3 quarter inch PVC hose swivel fitting, 4 inch drain hair strainer, and a 32 gallon heavy duty trash can with lid. Start by taking your barrel and mark a spot about four inches from the bottom. Drill a hole using your paddle bit. Take the spigot and screw it into the hole you just made with your paddle bit. Once it is threaded through, unscrew it back out. Wrap the hose bib threads with latex seal tape in the same direction as the spigot will be screwed in to make a watertight seal and screw the hose bib back into the pre-threaded hole. Take a coupling and screw it onto the hose bib inside of the barrel. Mark a spot about four inches from the top of the barrel and using the paddle bit, drill another hole for the overflow. Push the three quarter inch riser into the overflow hole until it sticks about halfway out of the rain barrel. Thread the PVC hose swivel fitting to the outside half of the riser. Take your remaining coupler and connect it to the riser inside of the barrel. Now use your 100% silicone on the outside to seal all of the openings. This is especially important for the bottom spout to prevent leaks when the barrel is full. We now need to create a space for water to enter the barrel. Find the flattest part of the lid and use your hole cutter to drill a hole. If you don't have a hole cutter, draw a circle approximately three inches wide. You can use the inside of a roll of duct tape to draw the circle as well. Then use a box cutter to carefully cut out the circle away from your body, bisecting the circle horizontally and vertically to create four pie slices. Cutting each slice out individually is the easiest way to get the circle out. Cover the hole with something to prevent mosquitoes from entering, such as a mesh screen or a filter. In this video, we are using a 4 inch drain hair strainer. This will also help prevent debris from your roof collecting in your barrel. Put your gutter downspout directly above the filter to collect runoff from your roof. You now have a complete functioning rain barrel. Be sure to place the rain barrel at least 6 inches above the ground to ensure enough pressure from gravity to allow water to flow easily. For more information, visit our rebates page at nbutexas.com.